Ezra 6.14b, Uvano v'shak lelu, men ta'am ela Yisrael. Umit ta'am koresh v'dariyavesh v'artach shasta melek paras. And that brings us to saluk, so pasuk. So back to the beginning. Here we have conjunction, and this is the bait noon, hey verbal root. It is a pa'al, perfect third person masculine plural. And here's conjunction, sheen, prefix, kaf, lamad, lamad, verbal root. So we have shafel, perfect, third person masculine plural. And so they built and they completed. And here we have from, and then the decree word, decree of whom, coming up to Zakev Katon. It's a decree of the God of Israel. Conjunction and another use of men, but in this case, unlike the first, it's the assimilated noon format. And from the decree of, we have up to Zakhaf Katon, two names, Cyrus and Darius. But that's not all. And Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Now, of course, all of these were kings of Persia, which is to say Koresh and Darius and Artaxerxes. So from the beginning, so they built and completed according to the decree of the God of Israel and the decrees of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, kings of Persia. So interestingly, we see in Ezra 6.14b an acknowledgement of the double causation. It's the decree of God and the decree of the kings of Persia.